Greetings, Oak Ridge. I'm sitting here in Brendan and I's backyard sanctuary. Of course, normally I sit on the back porch, but this is a better view for the video. This is where we watch the cardinals and the red and yellow finches and the painted buntings come through in the spring. This is where we chase off squirrels from the bird feeders. This is where I spend time meditating and praying, thinking about classes or sermons or you. This is my quiet place. My place to meet Jesus. I've been thinking about Easter 2020. And the sad news for us, of course, is that we will not be together on Easter this year. We will still be holding virtual worship on YouTube. But I wanted to come to this spot and speak to you about the possibility of a spiritual growth opportunity for us all. What I'm thinking is this year, in light of the global pandemic and the social distancing we're facing, what if we turn it around and we use it as an opportunity to draw close to God? What if during Holy Week, next Sunday through Saturday, in the evening you join me for a five-minute devotional video about the day of Holy Week, from the triumphal entry all the way to, to the Saturday that Jesus lay in the tomb. And we spend that time preparing our hearts so that on Sunday morning we get up ready for time alone with Jesus. We don't turn on the TV. We don't look at our social media feed on our phones. We don't open our tablets or our iPads. We don't engage in anything except maybe grabbing a Bible and a cup of coffee and getting to a quiet place, a place small for just me and Jesus. And read one or more of the gospel accounts of the resurrection. And then what I'd like to invite you to do is meditate deeply on the meaning of the resurrection. What does it mean that Jesus is raised from the dead? What does it mean for us in eternity? Yes. But what does it mean for us now in light of a global pandemic? What does resurrection mean if I lose my job or have my wages or my hours cut back? What does it mean there is new life in Jesus if one of my loved ones or I get sick from this virus? What does it mean that Jesus is our living Lord in light of all the struggles we're going to face for months to come? How do we live in light of the resurrection? I'd like to invite you, Oak Ridge, to spend some time in reading and meditation and prayer alone with Jesus. And I invite you to join me each night this week as we get ready for sun next Sunday morning. And of course, then later in the day, Oak Ridge will have a virtual worship worship service. We invite you to join us for singing and prayer and scripture reading and communion and a word from the Lord. Uh, we, we encourage you to seek out other worship experiences. There'll be some great ones online. We invite you to enjoy the day and Easter egg hunting and play. But could we start the day together, Oak Ridge, maybe in quiet early morning hours, just like the women at the tomb, wrestling with what it means that that tomb is empty. I love you, Oak Ridge. I really do. Please know that your leadership is constantly praying for you all. Do not hesitate to pick up the phone and call us. We want to care for you during this difficult time, and we need you to care for us. May God be with you. May he make his face to shine upon you. 
and give you peace. Goodbye for now.